So in this episode, we're going to share with you five thoughts and ways that you can build a better relationship with money so therefore you can get what you want. I need money. I hear you got a business proposal for me. What you got? Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Listen guys, before I get started, thank you for the phenomenal response, the likes, the comments on last week's vlog when I was in Washington DC with Marine Corps Barracks 8th and I. I want to say thank you to Mark Perez who tweeted me the answer to the question of how the military has affected your life today, not only in business, but also in your entire life as well. So huge thanks to Mark Perez. He will be getting from me from my desk to his desk, the book Lincoln on Leadership. So we'll do it again this week. We'll do another Twitter challenge at hashtag living money smart. If you tweet me and answer the question I'll have at the end of this vlog. If you're watching this on Facebook right now, make sure you click like on our business page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you mash subscribe, click notifications so you can be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. wonder is a hard work really worth it does it pay off the late nights the evenings the weekends the closeouts well we're here in Nordstrom Brandon here is filming and uh, we took uh, three of our top guys for a Nordstrom shopping spree guys I want you guys to know that there is a life out there there is companies out there there is a future out there where you can bust your tail and get rewarded for it and I'm just happy to just be watching these guys making sure they're taken care of here at Nordstrom's enjoy their shopping spree experience man so let's check out more of what they're doing This feels really good to be out here, uh, just remembering all of those closeouts, those long drives to BMPs. It just it makes it all wor worth it. Oh my God! It means it means so much because the hard work that we put in with PHP, you know, versus corporate America. You know, you don't have to wait 10 years, you know, to get rewarded. You know, PHP rewards us, you know, with a shopping spree. It feels great because what we do, uh, what we do for families is not even work. Here is like you're helping families. You're with people that you that that become your friends, people that become like your family, and then you get rewarded with a shopping spree. It just feels freaking awesome. This shit got me in my feelings. Gotta be real with it. Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you How many times have you ever bought something and then later regret it? How many times have you made a business decision and have a little bit of buyer's remorse? I've always thought that, you know, growing up, rich people are jerks. Eh, eh, how does this go again with rich people? Ah, eh, eh, there we go. Very nice. Making 100 grand a year, 250, 500, what? A million dollars? I'll never make that type of money. Man, I just wish I had somebody to help me launch my business and give me money so that I can get the capital to get my dream started. In order to make real money, you have to have a college degree, right? A master's, a PhD. You know, babe, I'm so thankful about how much your college degree has made us so much money. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute, where is your college degree? Is that where it's supposed to be? Maybe I should hang it somewhere. But the reality, honey, is we've made most of our money through this thing back here. What is that? It's my life insurance license. Or how about I want to have enough money to be comfortable to get what I want and never have to worry about money again. Here's the bottom line. 
if an alcoholic could get money for beer, if a crack addict can find cheeseburgers to sell for his fix. Man, you got any spare change? Man, I got these cheeseburgers, man. Well, how come you can't be addicted just as much to your success? Just like any relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, you want a healthy, ongoing, developing relationship with money. I mean, you've got to spend time with it. You just can't have it come visit and leave right away. Come visit and leave right away. You got to have money, visit your house, visit your financial home, and have it stay for a while. Get to know one another. So in this episode, we're going to share with you five thoughts and ways that you can build a better relationship with money so therefore you can get what you want. CJ on the baby. Tip number one. What do you want and why do you want it? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Just like any relationship, what do you want out of the relationship? Do you want to just date money or do you want to have a long-term relationship and long-term commitment to your finances? As my mentor Patrick but David has always said to us, solve for X. You're going to create a formula for you and create a series of decisions for you to put you in a position to eventually get what you want. Tip number two, cut the fat. Cut the fat out of your spending. I'm not saying for you not to live the lifestyle that you want to live. I mean, how many times have you ever bought something and you said, what did I buy this for? Or you bought something, you still have the receipt and you have the anticipation of returning it. Well, why'd you buy it to begin with? Why don't you use technologies like Mint.com that you're able to import your bank information into the software and you're able to see in categories, in graphs, in colors, how you're actually spending. That is a great and easy way for you to start identifying where you frivolously spend the money, so therefore you can cut the fat. Tip number three, increase your cash flow. I did a live stream about five different ways you can become a millionaire. Now some of you are saying, well, Matt, millionaire is a big number. Well, great. There's five ways also for you to earn six figures or 250 or $500,000 because once you lower your unnecessary and frivolous expenses, you're gonna give yourself an opportunity to make a lot more money and have more money left over from every check, from month to month, from quarter to quarter, and from year to year. And you will feel a whole lot better about your relationship with money because there's a lot more of it in your bank account. Tip number four, begin a side hustle. I hear you got a business proposal for me. What you got? No, I didn't mean that type of side hustle. A legal one, please. Here's the thing. Companies are always looking for ways to cut expenses. They're using technology, robotics, potentially outsourcing a job overseas, so therefore they can increase their profits too as well. So with that being said, why don't you take a page from their playbook and why don't you start playing offense too as well? You should be always looking at a plan B, your business, your income, your financial control, your relationship with your money. Tip number five, align with a mentor and teach others. So if you want to build big in business, you got to find a mentor and you got to be aligned. Right, you gotta be aligned. Yeah, aligned. Uh, what's up, bro? One thing I learned in the Marine Corps, that as soon as we receive information, as soon as we leave a new strategy, a technique, that we want to go ahead and keep our Marines informed. Because the best way to learn something is to immediately teach it. Because you start involving yourself in the subject matter. So you begin to express and share your breakthroughs, your milestones, and your journey with money will serve as an example of success to others. So here's my closing thoughts. We always have a tendency to complicate our relationship with money more than it has to. By developing a system of accountability and awareness through your relationship with money, you'll start experiencing new freedoms and definitely less stress. If you know what you want to experience long-term about your relationship with your money, your decisions from now on should be based on that decision to achieve that reality. Okay, there you have it. Time for me to give one of you a book. We're giving this book, Lincoln on Leadership. Tweet me the answer to this question. How are you building a better relationship with money? All right, so there you have it. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you mash subscribe and click notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. And if you're watching this on Facebook, I hope we earned a new like on our business page. That being said, thanks for tuning in and watching this vlog. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.